terms of being a city and part of um, what we call government, like, like the um, Khati Inform Commission, we had to create an enabling environment to allow locals and foreigners who are interested in, in investing in form to do so confidently and to be able to produce their work uh, e effectively um, because the services are of, of a high enough standard and there's other benefits like great weather which um, you know causes people not to have to go over their, their budgets and then obviously things like a favorable exchange rate always helps and um, a city like Joburg is, is known as a, as a value for money destination. Although we might be a long haul destination and people might have to spend money getting here, once we're here, we are uh, known as a, as a value for money destination. We'd like to, to thank our residents, especially those that were um, working and living downtown and experienced the, the traffic delays and the frustrations of that. There is such a huge spin off, both economically and in a marketing aspect that um, you know in future to please bear with us when these kinds of things do happen to please be patient and tolerant and to see the bigger picture because there really is um, many benefits to many people in, in um, allowing a production like this to come into our city. The local budget here was about four million dollars which if you compare to normal South African film budgets, that's quite a significant amount of money. But I think if I may, it, that's only one piece of, of the equation here. Uh, what goes along with that, of course, 300 local crew members were used uh, as part of the production. And in doing that, obviously that's an, an employment um, benefit, but it also is a skills transfer benefit of being able to participate in a, in a film of this, this scale. So there are many ancillary uh, factors that go into this as well that are real strong benefits for the local film industry. I think the, the showcasing of Johannesburg as a city uh, uh, is, is very important and I think to, to see the city and, and, and market the city from a tourism point of view is huge, hugely beneficial. Uh, but also within the broader film industry uh, to see South Africa and Johannesburg in particular being used for a major, major film production I think will have a knock-on effect uh, most likely for other film productions and will be a benefit to the film industry in general. And I think the very good experience that the Marvel production team had while they were here on all fronts also is very important because of course it's important to set these things up in the first instance but then you need to have a very positive experience which this absolutely was and that then again creates further opportunity and gives more people confidence that the systems are in place for a, a, a production of this magnitude that the local skills are in place that you can leverage for a production of this magnitude and that everything just works uh, so I think that is a very positive outcome. The director Joss Whedon was looking for a scene uh, to shoot a major a fight scene between Iron Man and Hulk and he wanted it to be done on the backdrop of a major metropolitan city so really that was the brief and that's what the script called for um, and when they came to Johannesburg and they did go to many locations and, and scouted for, for possible locations for this I think they were taken with the architecture of the city which they felt really worked and was very beautiful the fact that it had the kind of buildings and this and the, and this this the skyscrapes that you what they wanted for the backdrop and that the city lent itself to being able to shoot the kind of epic scenes that they wanted to shoot. Helicopters flying through the city, cars exploding, that sort of thing. You need a particular environment for it. And, and, and Joss Whedon talks about the earthiness that was Johannesburg that I think he really liked and he felt fit into what he was trying to do with the script. The, the key scene is this fight scene between Hulk and Iron Man and, and that is in fact one of the most important action scenes in the film which is very exciting I think for Johannesburg. Uh, so the locations were the CBD, uh, this is the downtown, uh, you can see the post office in, in there, also you see Ponty Towers uh, in, in, the, in the opening scene and the Johannesburg skyline uh, was there. Uh, and I think what's, what is exciting is exactly that, that, that it, was, it is one of the epic battle scenes between two of the key characters uh, in the film and it's, it's, it's not only an action scene but it's also quite an emotional interaction between the two characters so it's a very memorable scene in the film. We are going to be shooting in Gauteng in May part of a feature film called Queen of Katwe. Uh, the crew is currently in Kampala shooting part of that and they'll be here in, in May so that's very exciting. And then we also are in production on a pilot for an ABC TV series called Of Kings and Prophets 
which is a real epic period piece TV series. So also very exciting, and that's near Stellenbosch, so they're shooting that down in the Cape. It was a huge collaboration at all levels, in government and in the local city level, um, and for the people in Johannesburg. Uh, and I think we had such a great experience here that we hope this is only the beginning.